The Souls games are some of the most challenging, most rewarding games to ever be brought to the masses. And of course, they're also some of the hardest games ever made. But that's also a good thing. There has to be a balance between trying to survive and feeling like you're fit to the task. It's the reason that some have seen these games through to the end, and it's also the same reason that some have turned them off and never looked back. It's said that the PS5 remaster of Demon's Souls is the easiest Souls game ever made. And while that might be true, they forget that we've already had one. And it took place in a galaxy far, far away. Jedi Fallen Order is without any doubt the easiest Souls game ever produced. It adheres to much of the same hallmarks. Huge worlds, tough enemies, and a combat system that is a must learn. But what makes it the easiest Souls game? Well, for one, the platforming is anything but stiff. In Fallen Order, you're a cross between Nathan Drake and the pantheon of every Ubisoft climber ever made. The platforming is fun and responsive, while the Souls games leave much to be desired, as you're either moving at normal speed or running, and your trajectory is very stringent. It's almost like modern-day Castlevania, where you have to time it just right. Another thing is that the resting points are a bit more frequent. Anyone familiar with Souls games will know that you can go long stretches without ever seeing a resting point. That fear of losing your progress, dying, and having to start from your last save constantly eats away at you. In Fallen Order, you can find one just before every major enemy encounter. And, just like with every Souls game, choosing to rest resets all enemy encounters. Oh yeah, and uh, should you fall in combat? Well. I don't think I need to tell you what happens to your XP wallet. Yeah, happy hunting all over again. One thing both games succeed in is hiding things off the beaten path. Items and power-ups are essential for seeing things through to the end, and if you want to survive, you're going to need to step off the main path once in a while. Both have challenging hidden bosses and areas that will definitely kick you down until you learn how to master them. Tough? Yes. Satisfying to beat? <laughs> you bet. Probably the main difference between the two is in the combat. Souls games are all about strategy, precise attacks, quick dodges, and split-second reflexes. And in most cases, it doesn't take more than a few hits to drain you of your health in one fast swoop. An extra hit or a misplaced dodge could be the difference between life and death. Fallen Order takes the same concept, but adds a few tweaks to make it a little more accessible to newcomers and Souls veterans alike. In Fallen Order, you still have to know when to dodge, parry, or attack, but there's visual cues to help keep you alive. Flashing icons to let you block, parry, and red ones that tell you to get out of the way. It makes the Souls combat actually playable rather than frustrating. But hey, I'm aware that there are people out there who enjoy the challenge and overcoming next to impossible odds. And if you're one of them, well, more power to you. I guess I'm not that hardcore of a gamer. But. Needless to say that if you are looking for a way into the genre, then Fallen Order might be your best bet. While the difficulty might not be as legendary as the rest of FromSoft's catalog, it's definitely a fun adventure for anyone who wants a tough, yet satisfying ride to the end. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.